All right. So now we have a standing dog over there. Now I'm going to show you how to use our phone to connect the Wi-Fi the dog carrying. So we open the setting right here and we go to the Wi-Fi part, turn on the Wi-Fi, waiting for the uh, Wi-Fi coming up. As you can see here, there, there is a Wi-Fi code Unitree Go 16517748. Click it. Since that's the first time we use this phone connecting to our dock, so we have to type in the password, which is eight zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Join. And we wait for the connection. There we go. We open the app downloaded from the Unitree website. As you can see here, there are a few buttons right here and down here and over there. So the first two is the update button and the website linkage button. We're usually not using them, so we can just ignore them. And here is a simulator here. You can, you can think of this as a game for adults to do the simulation on your phone, but the only thing you can do is to move forward the basic operations moving and turning facing down facing up that's it for the simulator as for the settings as you can see here there is a signal icon and the battery icon and the setting icon here uh, on the top right corner of the screen we click the setting The first one is the connection. As you can see here, local connection is green, so the dog and the phone are connected. If it's red, then it means the dog has been disconnected to the phone. And the second one would be st statues. It tells you all the motors temperature right here and visions. The third one would be the posture. You can see all the turning angle for all the motors and for the body rotation and the body height and the foot rise. And the fourth one would be the BMS system, the battery managing system. You can check all the data right here. And you can change the light of the LED placed on the head of the dog over there, turning blue. Turning yellow, turning red, turning green, and so on. And in vision modes, the one screen is for Go One Air, and the two screens is for Go One Pro or Go One Edu. Peripherals. So we have three parts of the peripherals. The first one is a Bluetooth game gamepad. where you can check the remote controller signal. Okay, so now we click it, waiting it turning green, and now it has successfully connected to the controller. So now we have the controller over here. As I press the button in the, on the controller, you can see the signal on the screen on your phone. and then you should be able to check whether it's working or not for all buttons. Right, that's it for this function. Or you can set up turning, turning the following mode of the label controller or turning off the function. Or you want to set up for the audio devices, that's where you want to go. So the seventh would be the add-ons where you can Set up, set up for the slang or programming stuff. So the final one would be the docs because our Go1 and B1 share the same app. So you have to select one of them based on the dog you have. So for now we have the Go1 here. All right, that's all for the settings. Now let's move on to the vision part. As you can see here, 
there are a few buttons I'd, I'd like to introduce to you. So from the top left, this one is the home button. If you press it, you can see it goes to the home interface. Okay, let's go back. Right. So the top, uh, the bottom left, there are two buttons. The first one is a camera button. If you press it, it's taking pictures. And the second one would be the album. If you click it, it goes to the photo album where we store the photo we just took. And if you like to control the robot here using your phone, you must click the controller icon placed on the top right corner of the screen. After you press it, as you can see here, there are two joysticks icon, and you move it, you can see the dog is moving as, as we control it. It is not moving but twisting only because it's not in walking mode. If you switch to walking mode and start to move the joystick, it shall move according to the movement you made. And here you can switch the mode from the walking to running to climbing. And you can, sorry, my bad. And you can click here to stop the whatever is going on here. And for this extension button, if you click it, you can see there's a boxing coming up. And if you want the dog to perform the dance one, just click it. And then the dog, the dog will automatically start to perform the dance one. Alright, let's stop there. Click the stop button. Alright. And yeah, that's pretty much everything here. Alright. Uh, because the, the dog we are using the dog we are using is Air 1. It only has two sets of camera. So this one is on the face and the second one will be on the chain. If you click the bottom arrow, you can switch to the chain camera. Click the up arrow to switch back. Alright, so there are three bottoms. There are three bottoms placed on the top right corner. The first one will be the signal one. If you press it, you go strictly to the second part. And the second one would be the Bluetooth one. You, you click it. That's where you want to check the Bluetooth signal of your remote controller to see whether it's, it works fine.